Hi again everyone, Scott Player Pop Cool Fan here, and in this video, uh, last Wednesday, I think it was the 12th, uh, they re-released Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo Switch, and I want to talk about it. I played the game a little bit, and um, for those of you that don't know, I actually I have more memories playing the second game, Stadium 2, because I, I remember having that game, but not the first one. Uh, so, my nostalgia for the stadium games mainly comes from the second game. So, playing the first game is sort of a fresh experience for me, because I never, I never played the, the first game uh, on the Nintendo 64, because I never had that one. I had the second game. Uh, and so, on the Nintendo Switch, it's, I mean, it's enjoyable. I mean, it was the very first Pokemon game ever made that was made in 3D. And, it, and you know, it's the turn-based battling uh, in 3D. It was the first example of that. And that is rather cool. You know, it's a nice little novelty. But because Pokemon Stadium had a lot of GBA uh, Game Boy connectivity back then, and the Nintendo Switch, it doesn't have that. And also... One massive missed opportunity is the fact that they have not re-released -re all the old Pokemon Game Boy games for, for the online membership yet for the Switch. So that's the main problem with Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo Switch. Because the GBA connectivity, it, it's not there. Uh, and you can't, you know, you can't transfer Pokemon from your Game Boy games to... The stadium on the switch so that's the main issue with the game uh you, you just can't do that with on the on the nintendo switch i mean if you still have the 64 and you still have your game boy games um by all means but this version of the game it's bare bones because of that and while you can you know use rental pokemon to play um you know to do the battling and also play the mini games that is okay uh, but like I said, a lot of the mini games uh, in this first game, I don't have Emery memories of. So uh, it was um, interesting seeing all these different mini games, uh, and it was some some of them were okay. Uh, others like like there's a quite a few mini games in this. Uh, there's like this Diglett mini game where it's basically like throwing hoops, and. Um, a Rattata speedrun <laughs> and um, other mini games like that and I don't know I mean they're okay I mean like I said uh, I don't know it's, it's a fresh experience for me uh, playing a stadium the f and it was enjoyable but there's no way of actually enjoying it uh, without being able to play with your own Pokemon from the Game Boy games and you just don't have that and um, I don't know if they will, if they plan on re releasing the older Game Boy games for the Switch. I, I mean, I would hope so, because you know, there's Ruby Sapphire Emerald, Fire Red Leaf Green, uh, Gold Silver Crystal, Red Blue Yellow, all those games. I, I would hope that they would be released at some point because the Nintendo 3DS uh, eShop that's closed now. So uh, I hope you guys have has had the 3DS. And have already gotten those games because you can't get them on the 3DS anymore. Uh, now that the eShop for the 3DS is closed. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would expect that they're going to release those older games on the Switch. I would expect that they would um, to see if what they can do can sort of connect it to Stadium. So that way we can play uh, that game with our own Pokemon. Uh, and that will make the, it a lot more of a uh, fun experience. But also, Pokemon Stadium, it's much more of a multiplayer game. Um, and it's a lot more fun playing it with someone else. And I, um, I'm by myself. So, uh, it's, I mean, it's okay. Uh, but it's probably a lot more fun playing with a partner or a friend. Uh, and, but I'm, I'm by myself. So... I mean, it's okay. Uh, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, this isn't like an, an actual review or anything, but it's an enjoyable game. Just uh, it's more of a multiplayer thing. And also just uh, no GBA connectivity for the older games. And that's about it. <laughs>
So that's really everything I want to talk about in this video. Just talk about Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping... Uh, I'm surprised they haven't released a gameplay trailer yet for the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, whenever they do, I will definitely do a video for it. Uh, I am looking forward to the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Hidden Treasure of Paldea. Looking forward to it. And, and I cannot wait for that. So that should do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.